I'm Chef Alex Page. This is Dishing Up Durham, episode number 20. So Dishing Up Durham, every week I feature an ingredient that has either been grown, produced, or crafted here in Durham region, and I give you two videos and two recipes. And this week, I have been dishing up the fabulous Foggy River Farms. Uh, they're located out in Uxbridge, and they grow uh, these beautiful herbs, and I'm using two the uh, Roast Herb Blend and the Zest Herb Blend. Um, you know, right away when you open these up, the aroma is incredible. And Kate and Phil are really awesome, and I'm, I'm so happy that I'm featuring them. Now, I wanted to obviously show you ways that are unique to use herb blends and not just sort of a marinade or throwing it on uh, a roast or anything for the oven. And so, you know, it's almost the weekend here. It is a weekend, actually. and. I thought we haven't made a cocktail in a while on dishing up Durham. And this zest blend, you know, parsley, cilantro, rosemary, lemon, verbena, orange spice, thyme. I'm thinking a cocktail. Let's do it. Let's dish it up. So I know when we look at this uh, zest blend from Foggy River Farms, we're probably not automatically thinking a uh, cocktail. But, you know, uh, like I said, it's a weekend. I have this. You know, I've really jumped the gun on spring here and I'm wearing floral and I just really thought how amazing would that zest be? All of those herbal tones infused into a cucumber lemonade with gin. Yeah! So let's do it. And a really easy way uh, to add amazing flavors to your cocktails is using a simple syrup. And the name is completely right. Simple syrup. It's just equal parts sugar. So, you know, a cup of sugar, let's say. Doesn't matter, it just has to be the, the equivalent measurements, right? And a cup of water. You're gonna bring that uh, to a simmer. And once the sugar is melt, then we can add in our flavors. And so I'm using the zest, obviously. And I'm gonna use like a very generous amount, probably a tablespoon or two, because I really want that to be herbaceous. Um, to really pop in this cocktail. So once my simple syrup came up to a simmer, I just removed it from the heat. I'll let it sit for 15 minutes to let all of those beautiful herbal notes infuse into the syrup, then strain and chill. And while that's happening, I'm gonna juice some lemons. Next, I am just going to throw a couple slices of cucumber into a cocktail mixer, and then we are going to muddle them with this amazing muddler that I have. For my garnishes, I just simply want some thinly sliced lemon wheels. And I'm going to take a cucumber. Now, you could just do like a spear with these or also maybe cut them on an angle. I kind of want to use a micro plane and get a long piece that I'm going to twirl inside of the glass. It is almost cocktail time. So we've muddled that cucumber and uh, I've put some ice into my cocktail shaker. I'm going to add one and a half ounces of that fresh lemon juice. I'm going to add, now this syrup has, I've strained it, it's cooled. It took on this really uh, beautiful vegetal color. And the aromas. I mean, you just have to make this simple syrup. Also, just a note, this simple syrup is so uh, delicious. I think it would be amazing. You know, you could soak a pound cake with it. Uh, you could definitely play around with other drinks. Like you could use it to sweeten uh, some iced tea. Um, you could make a dessert whipped cream, which we did a savory one, but you could use this to infuse a whipped cream drizzled on top of your desserts, honestly. 
you have to try this. So one and a half ounces of lemon juice, one ounce of the simple syrup, all those beautiful herbs think, right? And then uh, for our gin, I'm using the Collective Arts Rhubarb and Hibiscus Gin. Do yourself a favor, if you ever see this gin, buy it. Just with tonic, it's like, I can't even tell you. Just very delicious. Try it. But uh, I think in this cocktail, just a, a normal gin or vodka would pair very well. You really get the notes of the herbs, but I'm really partial to this. So uh, what, I'm gonna do one and a half ounces. It's time to shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Another musical reference. All right, we'll pop this off and I'm gonna show you how to serve the drink. Grab yourself a glass and it's time to, I guess we're not dishing it up, but it's time to pour it up. So I'm gonna use a Collins glass. And what I'm gonna do before I add ice or anything, you saw I did these sort of really paper thin uh, strips of cucumber. And I'm just gonna place that in my Collins glass. And sort of just play with it so that you create, it will stick really easy and you kind of create this beautiful cucumber design. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna top this with ice. I'm gonna tuck in a lemon wheel and almost like the same thing as the cucumber, just kind of stick it to the side there. Next, I'm going to pour over, where's my strainer? I know I don't have like a professional cocktail strainer. So that is our gin, that herb, simple syrup or lemon juice. You can top this off uh, with a little splash of soda water and then grab yourself a straw. That's it. There you have it. The foggy, I'm gonna call this the foggy river lemonade gin herbs. You know, if you like your sweeter, you can even add a little bit more simple syrup, but the cucumber, the herbs, the gin, this is a winning cocktail. And I hope you try one out. The weather's getting nice. These will be perfect. Keep dishing up, Durham. <laughs>